let's solve this equation for t. Now remember t is that right there. That's t. I want to get that by itself. A couple ways I can do it. I'm going to do it the most logical way for me. I'm going to flip both sides. You can do that. And I'm, I'm doing that because it's easier to see. It's easier to see now what I need to do. Now I need to get rid of... I'm, remember, I'm trying to get T by itself. So strip this side of the equation of everything but T. But you have to do it in the right order. So first I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to multiply 157. And that, of course, multiplies to the top. So that's gone. Then I'm going to get rid of the 1. How do I get rid of the 1? Minus 1. Good. I'm going to just keep writing. I'm going to write it all as a nasty number so you can see that that's what you can do. Equals. Now I get rid of the what? 5.4. 5.4. How do I get rid of 5.4? Divide that entire side by 5.4. Mm -hmm. Now I get rid of the... So well, let me do this one more carefully. So there's my answer so far. Now that I have isolated the exponential, now that I've got that by itself, now I can take the natural log of both sides. So when I take the natural log of that big mess right there, and I take the natural log of that, I get this thing coming down to the front, and the ln and the e cancel each other out. So now I'm almost done. I just have to get rid of the negative 0.12. And so I take the entire left side and divide it by negative 0.12. So there's your answer right there. If you can punt, if you're good at punching it in the calculator, that's all you have to punch in using carefully using parentheses. Mm -hmm. But that's all you have to do. And then check it to see if it works. Just check it. Go back and plug it into plug whatever you got for t, actually stored in memory, and and plug this whole thing into your calculator right here, that whole mess into your calculator and see if it equals 50. That's how you check your answers, mm -hmm. which, it will, which it does, and it will work. So your answer is approximately, T is approximately. I don't think it's right there. Let's see what it is. So your answer is going to be approximately 7.713.